Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to show you how to create Vray environment fog to simulate light beams from the sun. It works similar to uh, volume light that we have that we can create, but this one is going to be using Vray environment fog. It takes very long time to calculate, so I needed to take uh, my scene out and just use several objects and create those uh, windows to show you better the emphasize of that volume all right so the first thing that you want to do is um, you want to go and create your sun as you can see here i'm using pretty simple scene nothing nothing special to it just openings and some furniture so i'm going to create my sun i'm going to go to the lights v-ray v-ray sun i'm going to put it this way Yes, I'd like to create environment background, V-Ray Sky. I'm going to position it somewhere here. All right, so that might be a little bit too inside. So somewhere here. Something like this. So the lights will be going from that direction and entering my room, my space. Okay, uh, the next thing that I want to do is I want to go and create a gizmo in atmospheric apparatus. I'm going to create my box. Within this box, I'm going to build my fog because I don't want my fog to spread all around. If you're not going to create this box, that's fine. But without that box the fog will be spread all around the scene and it might take a little bit longer times to calculate this so, I'm gonna... so this is my box and it's it's got the height and the entrance same entrance as as my ceiling height and the next thing that I want to do is go and create my fog so I'm gonna go to environment Add Vray environment fog, and here in parameters, the most important thing is the distance. Sometimes it can be too short, so you will not be able to see it. So I'm gonna put one meter. Actually, maybe I'll put it thousand centimeters. Actually, ten meters. So subdivisions. Uh, it's the noise that you get in fog, if you're getting too noisy fog, you can increase this. I'm going to put 16 just to have a faster results. And I'm going to turn off effect GI, add my gizmo and the gizmos and add my light and the lights. All right. And now I'm um, not using any GI, so I gotta turn the GI off for this example and click render. All right, so the render is done. As you can see, I'm getting nice light beams that going through my window hitting the objects, being blocked by the objects, and it's getting this nice realistic uh, sunbeams effect. Okay, so after I'm done uh, adjusting, if I need to add more, you can see a little grain in it, I can increase my subdivisions to have uh, much smoother results. I'm gonna put 32 right here, just to have a little bit cleaner uh, light beams. And after I've done doing that, I can introduce my GI, I can enable my GI and render the whole image with a full global illumination setup. Now for newbies, those that don't know how to tweak their renders uh, or set up or optimize the renders, V-Ray 3.0 got really nice feature here called uh, quick V-Ray settings. So we're going to select interior. Now those are really, really basic settings. So shading is the is the quality of the shading. I'm gonna put it in about 16. 
subdivs, AA quality, anti-aliasing, I'm gonna leave at 8, but we can also increase it uh, around, you know, maybe 16 or 32. And the GI quality, the global illumination is the irradiance map and light cache. I'm gonna put somewhere in the middle to use 15 subdivisions, 1500 subdivisions for my light cache and 50 for my irradiance map. All right, so um, going to close that window and click render. As you can see here, GI being introduced already, and we're getting fast results with this cool new feature of V-Ray 3.0. All right, so the render is done. We can see the GI. We got some blotches because of the low rendering settings. But if we're gonna go and increase our subdivisions of uh, irradiance maps uh, samples, we're going to have a little bit better uh, quality, more much cleaner quality to it with no blotches. But regarding our uh, light beams, the fog environment we can see that we're getting much cleaner result, less noise in the light beams, and it's been really realistically simulated uh, to match our interior. As you know, the V-Ray environment fog is super slow, so just in order to get your hands on it, do a few tests aside your scene, and then merge your scene. After playing a little bit with those uh, lights and adding more lights to the selection, I've merged my scene, only the objects that I actually need. As you can see here, I left with the previous uh, box that I just modified to match my windows, but all the rest is pretty much the same. And I also needed to give different materials to my curtains just uh, so they will not throw any transparency because this will take long to render. Alright, so besides that, I'm not using any GI, I'm just rendering that black scene and I'm gonna make a uh, lighting pass that I can later use in Photoshop. So no GI was introduced in this scene and I only added those photometric uh, IES lights and let me show you the result. This is how it looks like. So you can see here my lights throwing really good amount of uh, volume here. And that's another render that I did without the column, just to throw a little bit more light to my scene, just to see how it works. And also the IES on the walls, you can see that they also producing some, some nice volumes right here. The lamp throwing some light beams and the sun, of course, getting the most of those sun beams to my scene. Okay, so now let's go and see how we can use that in Photoshop. If I get Photoshop and I open my scene, I'm gonna open my map and by clicking shift I can drag and drop it exactly at the same spot with my main render right here and now I gotta go and put it on the screen mode and then boom I get my image with a really nice rep representation of the lights as you can see here everything starts to work really naturally all my exposure all my hot spots and everything and i get really nice cool thin shadows here all those details that were missing previously of course it's uh very advisable to choose the right opacity to use with this scene with this file because sometimes it can be a little bit too much it can create unrealistic effect so somewhere about 67 percent will give me nice smooth lighting beams lighting strokes to my room all right so i hope you enjoyed this like it share it with your friends this is alex your beer guy talk soon ciao